Ed Asner's calling. Guys, hold on one minute. Ed. Ed, you there? Hello? Hello? How are you, Ed Asner? Oh, fine. Who's this? This is Mark Pyers. This is Renaissance oh, Man. John, I know Mark Pyers. <laughs> you don't sound like him at all. <laughs> this is this oh, is his accent. This is his doppelganger. Oh. Huh? Uh, is this... What's that? <laughs> How are you, Ed? At the last Mercury station. What? How are you? I'm fine. You? I'm doing great. It's great to hear you from you again. You had to call Mama and snitch on me, huh? I you look, had to call Mama. Listen, I will. I will call Mama whenever I need to call Mama, Ed. Well, <laughs> you ought to have your ass whipped. <laughs> well, I felt horrible calling you, I have to be honest, because it's, you know, tomorrow's Easter, and also it's the weekend. Nobody wants to be bothered by a guy who's live every day of his life. Um, but uh, uh, Susan said, call and blame me. And so, Susan, uh, I did that. <laughs> so you called Mama, and Mama called me, and she was a pain in the ass. Well, Mama and, rocks. Mama and, rocks, Ed. Yeah. We have nothing but the ashes to build on. Oh, my goodness. It's so great to have you on the phone again. How have you been the last few months? We spoke be right before Christmas. It's, you know, it's been three, four months now. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, uh, Mark? Yes. Where are you? I'm here. I'm in Connecticut. David, you want, don't you want to get on? On the phone? Yeah. I, I don't know whether I'm pertinent. I don't know whether I'm... Here, take it. Mark. Talk to Mark. Mark. Nice to talk to you, my brother. Talk to Hi, Mark. David. Mark. And be a generous... I love your hair. I love its curls. You're very curly <laughs> You've never done that way, huh? I do. Boy, he's... he's a, I've got my son here and David. and uh, Hi, David. Huey. Huey is... Uh, the latest addition to the family. Oh, congratulations. He's an English Bulldog. Oh, little pup. He's, he's, a, he's a little son of a bitch. <laughs> well, he probably has his moments. I got a dog he's, like that too, Ed. Yeah. He's, he's going to be tearing some asses, I'll tell you. <laughs> so what do you got planned for this weekend? Anything exciting or just family, nice gathering with the family? Uh, nothing. Nothing that I know of. Well, good for you. No, we don't have any. We're going to be going out on tour again in a couple of weeks. With what show? All oh, various ones we've created. Oh, nice. Two Jews Talking. Um, it's a great title. Yeah. And boy, do they talk. <laughs> uh, I, um... I love that. Can I tell you a couple of the comedy shows I've created that are you know, weekly shows on my on my program? He's making it his his conversation. Like you said, you warned me. You warned yeah, me. Warned Go me. ahead. <laughs> okay, so you got two Jews talking. Uh -huh. We're going to go one for one. Okay, my first one is Stuck on Mars. Stuck on Mars. Stuck on are Mars. Are there any Jews on Mars? Well, right now we found one really creepy guy with big fists that holds a coffee cup and he's hiding behind the mountains. I'm not sure who he is, Ed, but I'm going to figure it out in the future episodes. What's his name? His name's Sonny. He's actually my sidekick for all of the other. I have another show called uh, Where in the World is Dick Face? And we show up all over the world and he's my random character that has a coffee cup in his hand and he's like the butt of the joke. It's just the silliness that I do here, I guess. But so go. What's the second one you got? What's the second one? Oh, uh, God help us. Dealing with uh, my playing God and dealing with this creature who's uh, uh, who's um, uh, God and uh, trying to bring together a young couple who worked for him at one time and who... Uh, whose uh, opinions are irreconcilable. So is that the comedy side of it? Is the, the opinions are just kind of absurd? Yes, because they're, they're at each other's throats. That's, there's some good comedy moments with that, with the oh, tension yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. How many, how many different um, series or, or different 
scenes or different shows are there within the show? How many what? How many different shows are there within your show? How many different uh, a- aspects? Well, I've got a man on his prostate. That's, that's my traditional show that I tour with. And um, now we've got God Help Us. Now we've got two beasts talking. And I feel what the other ones are yeah. We haven't grounded them yet, but we'll be doing it. When we do, I'll be a good meat for you to talk to. That sounds good to me. Oh, I- Sounds good to me. Well, I'm live any single day you ever have anything you do want to talk about. Um, can I tell you? Uh, talk, uh, can I tell you one of the comedy series that has to be made? And I, it's one of my shows that I think just the title alone, I think you'll be very interested. Are you ready for this one? Uh huh. Cage Home Quarantined. In what? It's called Cage Home Quarantined. It's it's set in Hong Kong. And basically, uh-huh. people live in cages in Hong Kong. I'm not sure if you know this, Ed. So I created oh. a series called Cage Home Quarantine, where I'm quarantined with with Sonny, the guy I told you about, the guy with the coffee cup. I'm, yeah, cor- I'm quarantined with him in a cage home. Uh-huh. And that's uh-huh. that's the show. Do, do you two <laughs> like each other a lot? Actually, I make fun of him because he's got massive fists. <laughs> Ed, uh, he's got massive fists. What do you do with those fists? Well, he can't fit through doors, Ed. He can't walk through a normal doorway. He's got to have oh. a six-foot doorway. Oh, he's got to go sideways. <laughs> they got to push him through. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> My yeah. son's giving me the high sound. Go. That I have to go. I that he has to go. I've always been marginalized. Oh, sit down. <laughs> sit down. Okay, but i got to go sit. You have to sit down. Well, I'll never speak to you again. Oh, sit down. I don't want to lose my son. Ed, how how but how old is your son? He is uh, sixty-seven. No. What is uh, 57. 57. 57. 57. I was off. I was off, I was off by ten years. <laughs> that much? Yes, it was that. Just a this few years. Just a, a decade. Little, little later than I thought. I feel like I'm sixty-seven. Oh. <laughs> He's a very proficient, uh, efficient. What what so, is what does your son do for uh, for a living? Well, he runs the Ed Asner uh, uh, home. Oh, okay. Uh, family center. Family center. It's a, it's a family center. That's it's awesome. A home, but people want to live there, I think, because they you would love to live there because they accept failures. Oh, well, that would mean that I quit. I don't quit though. You know what, Ed? There's one thing I, I know. Quit. What? There's one thing I know. There's, there's only one difference between me and my physical heart. We talked about this last time. I will never quit. Are you kidding? That's it. I just gave you. We the didn't talk about it. <laughs> we did. We didn't talk about it. I said I just yeah. gave you the cheesiest line. That's the cheesiest line right there. But it's true. It's true. If you believe and you just keep going, maybe one day things connect. But no, it's you, uh, got, you, you got spunk. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you yeah. so much. I appreciate it. Who Listen, else would have called me on Shabbos? See that? See that? Look what you did, Susan. It's Shabbos. You never call someone on Shabbos. And you tell me call him on Shabbos? <sighs> Show him Shabbos. You ought to be a horseman. I should be. Holy cow. That reminds me of Big Lebowski. The Big Lebowski, yeah. one of the best movies. Show him yeah. Shabbos. Uh, what's his name? John Goodman. Great, great movie. Uh-huh. What a great yeah. movie. Yeah. Uh, but listen, especially considering Shabbos, I'm so sorry to bother you, my friend. Um, but I am thankful for you're your time. You're, you're a delight. I love you. Oh, I love you too, my friend. This, you, you and your, your space. And your, stuck your, on Mars. Your cage. Stuck on Mars. Friends to uh, succeed well beyond that expectation. Well, I thank you so much, Ed. Thank you for your time again tonight. And Susan, Chavez, it's Chavez, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> thank I'm you lovely. so much, Ed. Have a great night, okay? We love you so much. Take care, boy. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye. Susan! <laughs> so shame not. You're awesome. Well, hey, think about it this way. That's the second call we had with that Asner. I think that one was better than the first call, actually, to be honest, because we had a chance to chat. Um, 
What an amazing man, huh? Holy cow. I mean, that was probably the coolest thing to have another chance to chat with Ed. Um, who knows? Who knows? He did jokingly say he doesn't know. He's like, look, I don't have any contacts. And I said, I don't really want content. I just want you to watch the show. I just want you to tune in for a few minutes and, and watch a piece of content. See if you enjoy it. You know, see if something like this makes you laugh. This right here is another show I didn't get a chance to tell him about. It's called Dick Fache at the Wet Market. Mm -hmm. 